The Andean condor is the largest flying bird in the world. Found in the Andes mountain range of South America, the condors are the largest member of the vulture family and eat carrion, found from a variety of mountain species, including llama, alpaca, guanaco, and mountain goats. They can weigh up to 30 pounds and have a wingspan of up to 10 and a half feet. Wow. Andean condors are also hardy birds living up to 100 years, if all goes well, that is. The male condors have a large comb on the top of their forehead, making it easy to tell the sexes apart. Male birds are also slightly larger than the females, which is opposite of many of the other raptor species of the world. In the wild, condors might lay one egg every two years, nesting in a cave high on the cliff walls of the Andes Mountains. That egg will take 58 days to hatch, and the chick will take up to eight months to fledge. Pollution, habitat loss, and humans killing the bird out of fear that the condors are carrying away their livestock are all factors that have hurt the condor's status in the wild. Because of these human activities, Andean condors are now completely extinct in Venezuela and less than 100 birds are left in Colombia and Ecuador combined. Only Chile and Argentina still have significant condor populations, thought to be around a couple of thousand birds total. That is still not many birds for a rugged area of over 300,000 square miles and spanning 5,500 miles long. To help try to save these huge and majestic birds, several breeding and release programs are underway by various facilities in both South and North America. Even the Havana Zoo in Cuba donated a baby condor born there solely to be released back into the Andes. All these condor lovers have one goal, to prevent the Andean condors from ever becoming extinct in the wild. One such breeding program, located here at the World Center for Exotic Birds outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, is also attempting to supply condors for release. With only a couple of pairs of these huge and powerful birds, they are hoping to be able to hatch at least one condor per year, which would then be raised without human contact and then transported to one of a number of Andes Mountain release sites. These recovery programs are very expensive to operate and therefore are usually only run by large zoos. However, the staff here has found a way to provide educational programs with various birds of prey, including Vicky, this 11-year-old female Andean condor, and can almost earn enough money to fund their own recovery program. Donations also help the effort tremendously. This way, not only does the public get a chance to see a magnificent huge condor up close, but they are also indirectly contributing towards saving the future of other condors in the wild. This truly is a win-win situation for humans and these precious Andean condors.